this. Here she is. Here she is. We were waiting for you. Like my Matt Well bitch back? I love it. Girl! Ah, hello. I was getting a little worried there. Let me do it a little slight, oops, slight adjustment here. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Got out of the house. I was worried. So what are you doing? So I'm in the bedroom and you were in the kitchen. By the way, I have something to say to you. Go ahead. I sent you the picture of me all dressed up with my hair and makeup that I did. And you said, no, send me one of you looking like quarantine. And then you put yourself up. Oh, he did? Oh, that's Jamie. Yes. Well, no, yours was like some sexy picture crawling across the pool. I'm like, where are we going with this? Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll, awesome. save, we'll save that picture for late night, our late night it Instagram. Oh, God, though. that was Jamie. I was trying to get together because today I'm trying to get a good adjustment here so you can see. I, Caroline, are you a cook? I, I wanted you to give me a lesson, but what are you cooking? Well, I am cooking today my famous homemade gluten-free oatmeal. It is so easy, so delicious, so nutritious. You could snack on it. You can put it in your, um, you know, a little bit of skim milk, a little bit of almond milk, anything you want. And I put them in these little beautiful William and Sonoma containers. They're great because they're just the right serving size. Anyway, tell us, how's Dubai? Dubai is really warm. I'm loving it. I'm sort of, I, it's, it's a nice, I'm so blessed in Dubai right now because I've got, you know, I'm, I've got outside space. I've got the kids here. It's kind of like, okay, I've never been in one place this long. Um, but no, because you're, Car just so everyone knows, Caroline moves more than anybody I've ever met. She's on planes, trains, and buses. Well, to be fair, I do work for one of the largest hotel groups in the world, which you were about to do a live with, I hope, next week. Um, oh, oh, that's right. Oh, God, that's exciting. I know, right? Um, so they I've got to put on some makeup for that. I have to travel for them. Oh, that's um, I know. So it's like Apple to their own sort of like, I mean, so many hotels, Durand, like 30 different chains. So that's why also I am on a plane the whole time. But um, yes, it is. I do love to travel too. What is the, what, what's the, um, what's the environment like in Dubai? What, what do you mean? Well, everyone's quarantined. I know when I went through Dubai, coming back from South Africa, they, I, I landed and Emirates had canceled all these flights. So I was, yes. I was Every, in a panic. You can't leave the country. You can't get in or out. I mean, it's, it's bad. Like it's really, really strict here. I mean, some people have been, of course, stuck outside the country and are inside the country. So it's, 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 I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a resident, non-resident, you can't get out, uh, you can't get in. So, I mean, they're, they're very, very tough, but I mean, as they should be. Yeah, as they um, should be. It's, you know, everybody's in lockdown right now. We have been on, we're on a two-week lockdown, so again, we can't, there's no outdoor exercise, no dog walking. Oh, someone just said, Caroline, please come back to see that. They love you, Caroline. Uh, no, I how is there. and how is the fam? They're good. They're they're staying occupied. They're not. I mean, we're lucky too because, you know, we're up in the Berkshires of Bluestone Manor, and you know, like the same thing. There, you for you know the important. I have friends like Luke, our great friend Luke. Hey, Luke, if you're out there, who uh, you know they can't leave. They can't leave. You're stuck, and you're stuck in a, an apartment. I mean, at least we can walk the you know walk outside, take a quick bike ride. You know, the, you, have, you have space around your house to do things, make things, create things, you know? You're also so lucky because, you know, much as older, I have, you know, nine-year-old boys who don't understand why when we live in a community here, we can't um, get into, you know, their friends can't pop over. Um, they don't understand why they can't, you know, go out of the house. And, you know, mommy, I'm bored. I'm bored. And also, I'm going through that whole screen time thing. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, you play a game for an hour or two, and it's like back on the screens, back on the screens. It's the only way they can communicate with their friends. And then their eyes go red, they get angry. And, it's and, like that, and that's tough because you don't want to, you know, you don't want them to feel disconnected or desocialized, but at the same time, it's, it's a hard thing to manage, you know? I mean, I do think what's nice, I've noticed, is a lot of people have been doing a lot of really fun home things, puzzles and Lego things and Twister and, you know what I mean? It's like the old days when I was growing up. You know, you were put down in the basement and you played games all day. 
I bought my son the mothership of Legos, like the most expensive Lego anyone has ever bought on the planet, I think, unfortunately. But I had no choice. He gets through Lego so fast. It's called the mother, it's called, oh God, I can't remember. It's, it's some ship from Star Wars. Let me tell you, best thing I've ever done. It's going to take him years. <laughs> Literally years. He keeps coming in with tiny little bits, like going, look what I did. And normally, no matter how much, you know, how big the piece is, he got through in a day. So this is the dream. So I've done that for one of them. The other one, yeah, I mean, they're so different. I it's just difficult. can't imagine. You know, I really, I mean, I was in Dubai, what, a year and a half ago. I can't imagine Dubai in quarantine. You know, it's such a, you know, not unlike New York, but, you know, it's just such a vibrant, moving, active city. You know, just with the different people, the different places, the different foods. You just, I can't even imagine. My friend Mona sent me a, um, a, a video last night where they're putting up on the side of the building, stay safe. And this it's completely empty. And I have to say one thing, and I keep saying this in my cameos and everything I do in my interviews, is you know, it is incredibly heartwarming to see how people not have come together just as America, but as a world. The clapping thing every night at seven does me in. You're an emotional wreck. Yeah, I, I don't know if you saw me and Hannah on CNN clapping. We got um, picked up on amazing. CNN. Yes. I see, so who's in the house? You and my friend Greg Kaleo, Greg, come, you know Greg, come over and say hi. Do a, do a, um, yeah, we're good so far. There's been no major uh, knockdown drag outs. 911 hasn't had to be called yet. We have a sufficient you, wine supply. Hannah said to me the other day, you know, that wine is not really good for your immune system during that. I'm like, not drinking wine is not good for my mental state. Hi, yeah. Carol. You know this, ma'am. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, this is our. This is my resident cook. I go shopping and he cooks it. This guy can cook like there's no tomorrow. I, I had no idea. We're working on having a baby right now, but I think he's yeah. having a little Adam, problem. You know, we're, I'm at. I'm an added value. We're turkey based up. Yeah, Carol, Carol, I'm an added value guest. We're trying to revive cook. this uterus a little bit. We're trying coconut oh oil, <laughs> avocado <laughs> spray. You know, organic <laughs> only though. Only organic. Can I tell you? restaurants like down the road and of course they had to close down so just before they closed down he sent me his chef oh. and he was quarantined with me oh my, oh my god so you so both I'm have chefs in yeah, house I have chefs. Yeah, yeah. but I bet awesome. mine's I bet mine's better looking <laughs> but I, huh. and I definitely don't want a baby yeah let me just how about if I just take you through this quick your kids will love this, actually. You'll love it. You'll, should, can I take it through it quickly? Go on. All right. Go on. You should have You should have made me do this with you, Dorinda. Well, we can do it next time. Hilarious. I know. You should have sent me the Dorinda. Uh, okay, the well, we'll do it next time. To, uh, everything's a learning curve. Okay, when I come to uh, New York, you better feed me this. I, I, it, it is so good, and I, I, I just love it. The great thing about it is you can sort of make it up as you go, which I love a good recipe. I'm a person that you believes you use what's in your cabinets, you use what's in your refrigerator. You know what I mean? I improvise, improvise. I don't improvise. have it to the T. No. I get really upset, and then I just can't cook. Not this up. So let me just tell you, the first thing I have here is a cup of almond milk. I have some dates. Two tablespoons of, of coconut oil, and then I let it sit. So it makes this very sweetened date milk, which is actually oh, delicious. It's Everyone great. wants to know if Greg is being in the fish room, Dorinda. Greg is in the fish room, and he loves it. That fish room is beautiful. That's the best room in the house. I want to sleep in the fish room. Yeah. So we let that sit for about an hour. So it's all ready to go. And oh, and I put in my two, this is the best honey, you guys. It's called Hive Mix. It's a high immune honey. I take it every day. It's got all kinds of oh immune. God. She it's, actually prepared this before. The other thing has been sitting there for an hour before. Yes, I do this well. And um, you Why mix it. Why do you do a cookbook? We are. Greg and I are doing a quarantine cookbook. So you take, Amazing. I take six cups of this gluten-free oatmeal. Delicious. Delicious. What is it by? The people can't see it. It is by Bakery on Main. It's so delicious. I don't okay. even see the difference. 
and I have some unsweetened, fresh applesauce that I made. Okay, I added some cinnamon. So I put that in a bowl. One, two, three. Watch how easy this is, folks. You take the six cups of oats. You take, oh, let's get every last drop of this. Waste not much. You guys have to stay out of New York. Oh yeah, right? it's terrible in New York right now. For how long? At least until May, mid-May, but I think I'm not gonna go till June, I, I think. And then let me just add this, this wonderful milk that's dates, the honey. So it's really possible that you might get pregnant with, with Greg then, if you're there till June. That's exactly it. <laughs> and then you, you look at this, you put it all together, just mix it with your hands, which I washed, yes I did, I always wash my hands over. And it creates sort of this incredible mush. And then what I do is I add some chia seeds, chia seeds, whatever you want to have. See, so good for your immune system. So you get everything in here, bang for buck. Some flax seed. Well, it's good for you know what. You keep mixing it again. That'll get you moving in the morning. Correct, and the dates. And yep. then what you do is you just take a baking pan which I've sprayed with whatever you have, avocado, and I just lay it all out there, right? All nice. What, how long did that take me? Two minutes? Three minutes. Three yeah. minutes. Look at this. You know, I like to know what's in my ingredients. I think the thing that's scary with cereals and stuff is all the hidden stuff. I hate hidden stuff. Now remember, you guys, you can add whatever you want. You want to add vanilla. You want to add cinnamon. You want to add any flavoring. This is a great way to test. Now, additionally, so it looks like this, right? I've got the oven on. You send me this? Yeah, 375. Now, there's two ways that people do oatmeal. They can either add the ingredients. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. You can add the ingredients so before good. you cook it. The wa walnuts. I have walnuts. I have almonds. I have sweet dried cherries. I have coconut flakes. I personally like to bake them. Other people like to put all that in after. I like them to add a crunch. So watch this, how easy. One, two, three, on top. The cherries on top. The walnuts on top. And then just give it a little smush around. Use those hands. We love using our hands in this house. Nobody wants me to cut the windows. I think that's the over, that's the general consensus on this live. No really? one wants to see me do it. Well, this is the, Caroline, you gotta try this. Your kids, your kids, you know, and I'm gonna tell you something that's interesting. If you wanna be a little decadent, which I'm not gonna do today, you can add these yogurt covered raisins, chocolate yogurt covered someone raisins. Goes, someone goes, I look really bored, Dorinda. Clearly they can even call the wrong friends. Well, I'm teaching Caroline to get bored. And this, then we're gonna talk. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes until it gets nice and dried out and crispy. Watch it. And that's it. And then you're gonna break it up. And then you have enough oatmeal you can put in little bags, Ziploc bags. I, as I told you, I put them in these serving size so I know how much I'm eating. And you've got a great healthy snack that covers all, all your food groups there. So gang, what do we think? We're I done with so that. Will you make that? Will I make that? Mm. Really? Should I lie to you? I don't. I can't yes, believe you're. I, mean, I can't cook. believe you're not a cook. You remind me of someone that would be a cook. Oh my God, no! I get, I get bored. I get frustrated. I don't mind like big chocolate cake. I've got canoa salad for dinner. What's that? And it just worked out. What's canoa salad? Just sal like a canoa, canoa, um, quinoa. Is it? How do you say it? Oh, can, oh, right. canoa. Oh, quinoa, oh, yeah. canoa salad. Yeah. How very fancy of you. Oh, so Greg, Greg, darling, should we have some canoa salad? <laughs> I think that'd be very sorry. In fact, yeah. my lips are dry. Do you have some Vaseline for me over here? That might be a bit pious. <laughs> Caroline, what is it? Let's read some of these, these out. Go ahead. I wanted your, personally, I wanted your beauty routine. What, the one this morning? Yeah, well, yeah, any. I don't Without have, Luke, what's I, yours? I don't have 
have a wheel. You know, I, I use, believe it or not, I'm obsessed with, and I just had her send me some more Trini. You know Trini? You know our friend Trini Woodall. Do you know Trini that well? Yeah, she just sent me some too. Yeah, she... These, I, um, like the pots. That, the pots I love, but what I use is she has that white, it's like a cream that adjusts to your face color. It's a, It goes on white, but it, it... And I put that on every morning with a little mascara, a little just lip <laughs> moisturizer. Yeah, it goes on white and turns any color. Yeah, so what it is, is it's your magic cream. You put it on and it adjusts to your skin color. And it just evens out your skin so beautifully. I've gone through like two tubes of it. And I wrote to her saying I need more because, you know, I'm not, I personally am not going to walk around my house with makeup on, but you want to look decent because it, feels, you know, it makes you feel better. I try to stay, I think the thing that I think is so important during this time is to stay in a routine of some sort. Otherwise, I just think you'll lose your mind. Let me tell you or show you my biggest, best find whilst I was in quarantine. <sighs> oh, that's that Con Air thing. Oh, my I God. have that. It is Why a... didn't anyone tell me about this? I have been using that for years. I love that it's thing. It's a freaking game changer. I... It's actually, this one's Revlon, I think. Do you know who lives by that? Ramona. Oh my God! Well, Ramona said that you know what? It's catchy. It's actually reduced her going to the hair salon because she's like, I, it actually gives you the ability to do your own hair. Pull it up again. What is it called? Revlon what? Because I don't have mine up here. One step. That's what One it is. Step. Revlon. It just arrived, and let me tell you, it, it's like I have never been able to leave the house when I go on holiday, or you know, without seeing tr trying to get somebody in. This I can do myself. It's unbelievable. Hours with a hair dryer. This takes me five minutes, and it's been. Everyone said that I look that picture that you thought was too sexy and whatever. I did that myself. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. All myself, that. and I even did my makeup. And you know, I can't do that. Okay, we're, we're it is Good Friday. I don't believe in lying, but that's okay. Um, well, I, I did my hair myself this morning. I've been adding this curling activator, and, it, and believe it or not, I have quite wavy hair. I like your hair. Well, like you know what I did? I've been diff it. I've been diffusing it. I saw you on the show yesterday, and like last night I started watching it. I think you were on, I'm on episode two. Yeah, did you your watch hair, it? You cut all your hair. Yeah. Um, you did cut all your. I, I love it. We like to talk about it. Um, I, you cut all your hair off. Well, you know what I did last year. Well, now it's Brett and Long again. I I actually liked it short like that. I had. Platinumized it, platinumized it so much and so much platinum that it actually was so unhealthy before I started that I just decided in July to shave it all off. Like literally, I went super short and just was conditioning it every day, every day, every day. No, I wasn't having a pretty, but I just was like I said to the guy, cut it down and get rid of all that old hair because it was it was worrying me. I thought so. I just spent like the whole you know we don't film or do anything July and August. So I just spent it just not, believe it or not, not really washing it, just oiling it, olaplexing it, and it came back. But because, listen, I love, nothing I love more than a platinum blonde. I just love it. But it is very hard on your hair. It is, I know. Well, There's I mean, nothing I'm better than, a, than a, that look, especially on TV. It's a little bit harder in real life. Like, people see me in real life at that point, and they're like, oh. But on TV, it always reads really well. Um, well yeah, you look great. Oh, I love all the. I love your fashion this year. Oh, thank As you. you. Last year, doing really well. Well, thank you. Um, no, I was very fit and thin and skinny. It, back? it feels. Get? It feels great. You know, it's. It, I was saying um, to my editor Barry the other day. It's so weird watching it because times. It's so different. And even though that was such a short time ago, it is worlds away as far as mentality and stuff. And I love some of the people are like, oh my God, considering the times it is, you're being so mean. I'm like, it was seven months ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I always used to find that. You're way over it. And then everybody gets so into it. And they get so... But isn't that good? I, I like when people... Listen, my whole thing is have a good opinion, have a bad opinion, just have an opinion. And I think it's a nice, oh dis God, yes. I think, I think it's a good distraction for everybody for an hour. You know, there's a lot of people that have said, oh, you know, it's not the right time, right place, but 
you know, it, it, for an hour, it's a great, ch I watched it last night, and I have to say, Greg and I really enjoyed it. I just checked out for an hour. And it makes me really I so we miss New York. I know. I really, I last night, so went to like bed thinking, I miss New York. Like, I can't wait. Greg and I were doing a great thing before quarantine where we'd meet sort of, we wanted to do it once a week, but it ended up being like once a month. We choose, I love a great hotel bar, like a good hooker, I guess. But um, we would meet at a great hotel bar. Bar Bites. Bar, we called it Bar Bites with Dorinda and Greg, and anybody could stop by and we would just order bar food and drinks and tell everybody we're there. And that, you take it for granted the interaction between the bartender and you, oh, you're always meeting new people. The great thing about New York is because we sort of live in this almost like college like environment, everybody's always willing to talk to each other and go, oh, yeah, come over and sit down. And oh my God, you know that one. And I am going to look so forward to like going to a great hotel like the Carlisle or to the Palace, one of my favorite hotels ever, and just sitting and having a great plaza. Yeah, the plaza. I'm, I'm like, oh, hold on, my lights went off. I've got a funny light situation going on. Hold on, folks. Oh, hold on, Caroline. I'm coming back. No problem. I was thinking about dating now. Oh my God. Okay. Because New York, like everybody's dating to three people from what I know. It's like crazy. And like, what do you do now? Like it's months and months and months. What are people doing? Well, supposedly, I mean, I guess people are sort of Zoom dating and stuff. Sex. I guess I'm not. Well, as you learned from last year's episode, I'm not good at any of that stuff. But yeah, but how can you? How can you do that? Like, if you, imagine if you're on your second oh. date. Did you read that story? Some woman in New York went on a date with this guy, then had a and she quickly drove to his house, and she's now quarantined with him. They have separate rooms, but they did all the dating in the house. That's crazy. Is that true? Yes, it was in the papers. I read it in the Daily Mail. It's got to be true. <laughs> exactly. What? But Greg was telling me that the three things that are up are alcohol, alcohol liquor, alcohol consumption. What's the other one? Um, Murdering the spouses. Adult, film. adult films. And yes. streaming, streaming of apps. Oh my God, my young son goes to my nanny yesterday, whatever it was, a few days ago. He goes, what, uh, Melissa, what's porn? <laughs> and she goes, uh... She goes, well, it's something that adults like to film sometimes in the afternoon for entertainment. And he goes, oh, like mummy. And so she told me this. And I'm like, if he goes to school and tells people that I film on in the afternoon, you're fine. Listen, take, take, the, <laughs> take the Catholic approach on everything. Guilt, denial. If Hannah asked me anything like that when she was little, I'm like, don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> I don't know. It was in a... Uh, yeah, they're boys though. They're yeah, boys no, I'm kidding stuff. you. You gotta be these, these no listen. Questions are coming thick and fast. Also, too, you no, gotta I remember, I I just missed that period with Hannah where I didn't. She didn't have a computer. Hannah didn't have a computer until she was probably 14, 15. So not eat, nothing. You're so lucky. And remember when because I lived in London? One word. You guys, you can't avoid it. I lived in, when I had Hannah in London, there were no cell phones. I got my first cell phone. It was a big Saturday adventure on Totten Court Road. I was very excited. We got one of those great big brick phones. Remember those? The Nokia brick? Oh my God. They were huge. Yeah. And they were, I had they, one in my car as well. You literally, like proper big, yeah. you literally had to charge it. Yes. You had to charge it once. No, I'm talking about the first um, wireless one where you, it was like the brick. And you only had yeah, to... Yeah, also that would look like that. And you had it as a phone as well, but they did have a wire. Yeah. Yes. So it was hilarious. But yeah. I remember I would, you would only have to charge that brick phone like once a week. It weighed like 25 pounds, but my God, it was... <laughs> Your whole, that's why everyone needed such a big Birkin. Now everyone wants a tiny one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bring a giant you would literally, you would be like, you know, like this. Hello? Hold on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I know. And it was like, who could shout louder? Hello. Hello. Everyone, they were so rare to have. Do you remember <laughs> the break? Remember that break? Yes, unfortunately. We're showing our age. It's changed. Um, what was going to ask you? Dorinda so, Love from Paris. Z Tab, my sister. Oh, we've got a lot of great people on this. Oh, Stefania, who does, is um, one of the amazing artists that did I'm 
Honest Ladies like of that. London, how often do you see Sam? Who's Sam? Jem, Jem. Oh, Jem. Oh, I, oh. <laughs> you know her, Jem. I thought it said um, Sam. How is that? He came over this afternoon to swim. Oh, yay. He came over this afternoon. We're, he lives across the road, everyone, because I keep seeing questions. Um, and uh, I, we're all good. We're happily co Do you know I've never met Jem? Is that not weird? You're not the only one. No one in LA had either. I don't believe. <laughs> it's like that was yeah, I, yeah, I know. It's just so so bizarre that I've never met him. Well, I everyone, so I think I'm gonna have to sign off. I got a twelve o'clock. Caroline, I'm gonna see you on that Monday, great. right, with a core. I will try. And if I I'll share it with you. Me. Now, listen. Um, yes. Monday, right, with a core. No, they changed it. I'll give you the new date. But okay. They can't do Monday. You look I'll beautiful. You stay healthy. And stay you happy. Choose. This made my day. Love I love you. Happy bye, Easter. Bye. Happy Easter. Celebrate. Bye. Happy everything. Happy everything. Bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.